Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I think that I am going to be able to get through a video without coughing. Isn't that amazing? I'm so thankful. This is Saturday night. It's 7.46 p.m. And I'm coming to you tonight with um, a request. Um, how do I begin? I got an email, a couple of emails. Let me start with the first one. And Lord, please help me remember. <laughs> this is take two. I forgot to do part of it. All right. This email says, Good morning, Sis Jeannie. I knew the Lord put it on my heart to help Morella and her children. Now, before you turn this off, I want you to understand what um, she had to say. Okay, wait a minute. I need to back up and go to the most recent email first. All right, she said, Jeannie, these are coming to me fast. The Lord does want you to share in a video what I wrote and his confirmation to me, including the Strong's meaning, that's what I left out last take, that I also included along with the amount and to leave my name out of the video. The Lord knows that more help will come to Morella through you with the making of the video. He trusts the words that you will use to do it as well. Again, please do not mention my name as this is not about me, but for others to also truly seek the Lord in their helping her as well. Thank you, sis. We must be obedient and our Lord Jesus is so worth it. Love you. And I love you too, sis. Okay, so back to the first original email she sends to me. Good morning, sis Jeannie. I knew the Lord. See, I would made a video. It's been several days now. Uh, the first one I made, YouTube would not let me upload it. It was all strictly about helping Morella for this month. And it was was uploading, was uploading, and then all of a sudden it halted and it, they wouldn't let me up, upload it. And they said, you are uploading a video you have already uploaded. And I titled it different and it had different num different number of minutes of it. I mean dated different you know that was a flat out lie so why would they want us to not help Morella okay anyway she, if those of you who don't know she's a single mom in Ecuador with four children she is an American citizen and there are a few videos if you go to my home page and see my lists of videos you know, like my favorites, ones I highly recommend. You'll see a category called videos about Morella. Okay, if you want to know. All right, she has sent me many pictures. One was with a flower outside her, her kitchen window that she had seen one morning when she'd asked God for a sign. I can't remember the details, but she sent a picture of the flower, and it was something I had never seen. It was kind of like, if I remember right, it was kind of like a big sunflower, but mm, not exactly. It was shaped different. Anyway, it was beautiful, and it was huge. Okay. Um, they do have to put up with a lot of bugs and snakes, though. I was like, I don't think I could do it, but she doesn't have a choice. So anyway, uh, she said, I knew the Lord 
put it on my heart to help Morella and her children. But I didn't know how much. I was thinking a hundred or even a hundred and fifty. So I asked the Lord to please show me how much. He put in my spirit to open my Bible. It opened to Second Chronicles 26. So I asked him, do you mean 260? And for confirmation, he led me to flip my Bible open again. And wouldn't you know, he put me at Matthew 26, 61. Immediately I knew with the 26 confirmations, that's what he wanted me to send. Please share the $260 to Morella and her children, and I'm so grateful to the Lord God for making sure I had that much to be able to send, and that you are his conduit to send to her, and that he showed me twice what to send. God is so good. Amen. I love you, sis. Keep in mind, she's feeding <clears throat> the two little ones that are with Salvador, and that's just about enough for them, for their daycare expenses and food, is what she gives him a month. And then there's her and two older boys, nine and seven, I think, nine and eight, not sure. All right, she wanted me to include the meanings of the strong of the numbers that she looked up that she came to when she opened her Bible. She says, "I looked up two two six like two like second chronicles twenty six where the Lord put me first. Check out the strong's meaning, see the attached all right, so." This is like a, a screenshot, I guess. She put, this is from Bible Hub. The Hebrew 226 means a sign. Strong's concordance, a sign. Original word, then it has the Hebrew word. It looks like Nix. <laughs> Part of speech, it's a noun, feminine transliteration, and that's and then it's something something dot 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 phonetic. Okay, so now under Bible Hub in the Greek, two two six means to speak the truth, literally truthing, speaking reality or truth into a person's life, making a record of what God deems is truth. I thought, how awesome. And I had forgot to put that in my first take, so I had to redo it. So anyway, everybody, please remember, if a lot of people gave $10, it would add up. You know, right now, 26 people at $10 each is 260 You see, it doesn't take a lot if everybody pitches in. Take it to the Lord and see what he tells you. See what he lays on your heart. So anyway, I did feel led to include what Jesus told us, told us, um, when he separated the sheep from the goats and he was talking to the sheep and saying, for when I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was sick and in prison, you visited me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And they'll say to him, well, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or sick or in prison or or naked and clothe you? And he said, I tell you this, whatsoever you do 
for the least of my ch um, least of thy brethren that you do unto me. And likewise, he told the goats, <laughs> you didn't feed me, you didn't clothe me, you didn't visit me, you didn't help me out. And they would be like, well, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or naked or sick and in prison and didn't visit you? And he'll tell them, I tell you, whenever you refuse to do it for the least of thy brethren, that ye refuse to do unto me. Now that is the words of the Lord. They're not my words. And I'll find that scripture and put it in the description box. So you can look it up and read your version. And see how you take it. But think of the parable of the Good Samaritan. How a Samaritan helped a Jew who'd been beaten up and robbed, put it, picked him up and put him on his donkey, took him to an inn. He gave the innkeeper money, and it was like two silver coins. It wasn't just a couple of uh, pennies. He gave him enough. He dressed his wounds, got him food, and said, when I come back, if there's more owed, I will pay it. And so he took care of that man. Can you see us doing that now? We'd, we'd be like the Pharisees that passed by on the other side. That guy's probably drunk, whatever. Well, you know, he was probably bleeding, and you could probably tell he was hurt. Anyway, I'll leave it go at that. You all know the word what we've been discussing lately and I want to get off that topic it is what it is Michael Criswell did an excellent job bringing out some scriptures of why we must do good works if we do this then we'll get that if we obey then we'll get this benefit, promise, salvation. It's in the word. It's not my word. It's God's word. Okay. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and my computer, and over each and every one of you, all your devices, and your internet connections as well. And thank you, Lord, for helping me make a video without coughing. So much better. Praise the Lord. Thank you for all your prayers. It took a couple days and some breathing treatments. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm doing good. I think I'm sounding pretty good. So I'll leave it go at that. I love you all. God bless each and every one of you. I will talk to you again soon. Bye for now.